just cleared but as you can tell it was torrential downpouring rain right as soon as we were docking um but luckily we had help from two amazing dock hands so they helped us out yep. but i'm drenched and it was so funny because as soon as we got in that's when it just stopped, stopped. and now i think the sun is coming out that's florida for you those blue, those blue you guys literally wouldn't believe the sky <laughs> when we pulled in here and the amount of rain that was, was coming down. It was torrential. Just like buckets and buckets of water. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I'm gonna it's get absolutely changed. beautiful here. This is gorgeous. There are so many amazing boats here. That's a lot of water, right? Yeah, we're taking on a bit of water. We have a hole in the top of our mast because we just installed a wind transducer and we did not fill the hole with silicone. Um, so there's, we did, hit rain several times today so a lot of that's probably more rain than anything um but we are taking on water from our rudder post from our rudder post in between the hull and the fiberglass that surrounds the rudder post um not a crazy amount but if we go out for six to eight hours you know uh it'll fill up roughly half the bilge which is too much for my comfort so eventually we're gonna have to get that fixed probably when we end up hauling out so we ended up at the brewery stormhouse brewing right near the marina and i got pierogies and a goat cheese salad they have a group of Reuben, so I couldn't resist. Yes, you love group oh, of Reuben. amazing. There's so much food. I know, it's so much. So we just got done having dinner, and now we are at the captain's lounge. Oh, yeah, just getting some work done. Uh, it's non-stop editing. I'm just trying to get caught up on all the videos. So we have this place to ourselves, and it's really nice. There's a little um, espresso, but, uh, espresso machine and so 
Christian just made a latte. I'm gonna spend some time here and then head back to the boat, but the boat was just sweltering from the heat, so we kind of aired it out, opened up the portholes because it looked like the rain wasn't gonna come after all, so we're trying to get the air kind of flowing in there, but now we're just enjoying the air conditioning here while we get some work done. All right, Christian and I moved to the conference room here. <laughs> I'm just uploading some footage to our hard drive so I can start editing the vlogs. You videotaping me? Mm-hmm. Why? Because we have a YouTube channel. After an amazing time here at this marina, it's time to go. We are just heading down to the next safe harbor uh, that's right across from Pina Island, and that's something we're super, super excited for. We wanna spend a good amount of time there because I've done some research in the area and Pina Island looks so fun. It looks like a really fun spot to go snorkeling. Um, yeah, so Christian and I just picked up some goggles so we can go swimming over there. But yeah, I think it's only about like a 40 minute boat ride down to that safe harbor. So we'll get in, kind of get settled. Um, but we had a really good time here, but we mostly just spent the time working in the captain's lounge. So I don't think I vlogged too much, but we did walk over to the Italian market that's around here. And yeah, so not too much exploring, a lot of work, but it was a really motivating place to get work done because there's just super yachts all around us so it was very like motivating are you ready i'm ready so we just left old port cove we're headed to new port cove <laughs> <laughs> Time for an upgrade. Um, no, <laughs> this this place is awesome. It's literally like pure luxury. You really want to explore Pina Island, and Pina Island is right next to Newport Cove. So we are headed there, right into what looks like to be a squall, <laughs> but we're only going to be on the water for maybe a half an hour. So we just got to the next safe harbor, the Newport Cove, and we got another free bottle of wine. The other place did it too, Old Port Cove. <laughs> Are going to take you to the number 10 best snorkeling spot in the whole world. <laughs> I think the storms have passed. At least for now. But they lie to us all the time, so there could be a storm right on top of us, but we don't know and we don't care. A bunch of liar storms. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go take the dinghy over. This place is beautiful. 
Beautiful. Yeah, we just tie it off right here at the day dock. These are first come, first serve. Uh, unless you are staying in the campground, then I think you have priority. Yeah, you can get permits. Yeah, and over. it's right next to the inlet here in West Palm Beach. There's a huge snorkeling beach over here. And then the island, there's just a beach all the way around the island, so we might walk around. Yeah, let's explore. Yes. <laughs> we well, just been struggling. <laughs> yeah. I can't talk. I, <laughs> we've been snorkeling and I've been trying to get videos underneath, but I think they're literally all blurry. So I'm gonna watch those again, but oh my god. Oh, did you hear that suction come to my nose? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, showers. <laughs> I get the salt off. I know. Oh, it feels good. The water is actually pretty warm. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Did you have fun? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was so much fun. I want to come every day. Yes, that was one of the coolest experiences of my life. And this is basically, we can stay here as long as we want. There are mooring balls. There's a huge anchorage over there. It's so cool here. I'll just stay here. Yep. <laughs> stay in here. Let's go back to the boat and eat. I'm so hungry. Me too. We worked up an appetite. So we are getting ready to head back over to Peanut Island. It is now the next day. We had so much fun yesterday, but right now the weather shows that it's a real feel of 116 degrees and it's hot. We pretty much haven't left the boat today because we were just getting a lot of work done, but it just gets so hot in here. I don't know if you can see all the sweat, but oh my gosh. We back at it. You excited to go back to Peanut Island? Yep. I'm so excited. It is beautiful there. We had so much fun there. So. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment. If you want to support our journey further, we have Sailing Intuition merch for sale and you can come join our intuitive family over on our Patreon page where we do ad-free and early access videos and so much more. Thank you for your support.